All right, so now for the Delta 88. I took that old battery out of there. Doesn't look like it froze, which is kind of good, I guess. I mean, the uh, battery does hold charge for about a week in the summertime. So I, I might hold on to it, I don't know, or I might chuck it into the ocean. I don't know what it is with people and that nowadays saying that it's a safe and legal thrill. I don't know where people come up with that crazy idea, but I don't know. There's a Facebook page about it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it. This one here has more fuel in it, so I'll actually be able to run this one. And the fuel should really be gotten out of there, mainly because uh, the fuel, this fuel has been in the car since the wedding, so it's been in there since 2018, and I haven't gone anywhere with the car, so. We have power. Okay. I'll give it, uh, I don't know, two pumps. Let's see what happens. There it goes. She's running. a little bit. She's running. That's on. Maybe turn some heat on. Okay, so she's been running at high idle for about 10 minutes now. I'm just gonna knock the choke down here. It's been racing pretty high for a while, so. Um, yeah, definitely feel heat coming off of that, so. Oh yeah, it's nice and toasty in here. Okay. Oh, low fuel. Huh. Maybe there's less fuel on this thing than I remember. It just idles down so gently. Oh, this car is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna leave the door open because I imagine there's probably some exhaust coming in. There's just no bank behind us. So 85 olds, Delta 88, Royale, Brome. Yeah, this thing is absolutely marvelous. It's got an owner's manual here. purposes. That's okay. That'll melt and dry. The snow is melting off the hood already. I'm not going to turn the wipers on or nothing. So this one here has 117,818 on the clock. I haven't driven it at all last year. I was going to get a new vinyl top for it and I never had the chance to. So I'm going to close the hood just for a bit. Just for the sake of closing it. 
I just really, really, really want to go and take it for a drive, even in the yard. The problem is, is I can't because it's sitting on cinder blocks. If I try and move this thing, there'll be a big loud crunch, followed by a lot of swearing. Off the eyes here so it can see. There we go. because it's warmer in the car than it is out here. I put these doodads on. These come with every new vehicle on the dealership usually. Well, some of them. They keep them there for transporting purposes. So um, when they load them on the, the uh, car haulers and all that, so that uh, they don't get all bashed around and dinged up and all that stuff. So I just shoved them on there just to kind of keep... Uh, just to keep things from getting bashed around here in the yard. I just pop them off and pop them on whenever. So anyway, I'll take them off at some point. So yeah. 307 olds. The exhaust is definitely outside. I can see it, so I guess the tailpipe's not totally blocked. So. Yeah, so like I say, uh, not a heck of a lot to say about this car. I guess I did an oil change to it uh, at 115,000. So there's definitely, uh, this oil is definitely good for a little while. Anyway. There's fresh oil in it. Rear defroster. Cigarette lighter, I don't know if it's been used. It looks like it's been used once anyway. Probably by me. Stupid me. I ain't ever smoked in the car, by the way. I'd, let me just clarify that. Headliner's in really good shape on this one. It's not drooping. I think it's probably been replaced because these on the pillars here, they kind of look like they wrinkly, like they've been letting go. So. Well, bro. Yeah. Seats are in great shape, except for the lid. A little bit of a, a little bit of tear there. shape. I just need a new vinyl top. Let's see if I can roll this down a little bit just for ventilation purposes here just in case some exhaust is getting coming in here. I don't smell anything but I mean I, I haven't maintained the back end so there's probably a lot of snow back there. Power remote mirrors, power control. There's a knob here that one controls the one on that side if you can see it. And then this one here on the door controls this one. So you can see the power control. I'm gonna do a restart here. It's got this nice gentle chime to it. That's Oldsmobile luxury of the 80s. cranked it over when it first fired over just now I could smell just something a little funky it smells like stale fuel I just got a whiff of it so uh, like I say I got this fuel in 2018 August of 2018 I filled this one and the 78 Buick the 78 Buick I drove last year but this one was the only one that didn't go anywhere so I can still, I can smell a little bit of uh, stagnant exhaust. So I gotta get that fuel out of there, burn it off. Rear view mirror I haven't put on. This, uh, this piece here is supposed to go on the windshield. Um, 
The only problem is, is the one that's on there is too wide for this rear view mirror. So I never bothered putting it uh, on the car. I never bothered playing with it. I'm gonna take it to the glads that put this windshield in the car. Um, let the professionals deal with that because I can do it. Like, don't get me wrong, a heat gun, take that off, whatever, just and glue the other one on there. But I'll let those guys deal with it. That way, if just so happens that I just put a split in the windshield, then I'm out a couple hundred bucks, right? So I'll let those guys deal with that. And uh, yeah, and I'll just uh, be on my very way with it. So that'll, I'll get that addressed in the springtime. Yeah, so the exhaust pipe is coming up. You can see the black, black uh, carbon off the back of it there, off the snow. So in any event, I can't get back there, so I'm not going to bother. Get the snow off the roof here. That's that I usually do because I don't uh, I don't like a lot of snow left on the vehicles. But then when I take the, the snow off the vehicles, they just kind of pile up here, as you can see. But in any event, this one here is a runner. It has been running since October of 2019. I parked these uh, just before Halloween, and I got them on the cinder blocks, and that's when they uh, that's when they were parked. So they haven't been running since. But in any event, great running car. I'm, uh, I'm glad this one started. I'm glad I got it going actually because uh, it just, I never run them very much. So. so anyway guys, that's it for the 85 Olds Delta 88. I wish I could do something more like just, oh, I don't know, take it around the yard here. Lots of open spaces here just to kind of keep the transmission, uh, the fluid moving and all that. But the problem is, I'm on cinder blocks. So I can't move it. I'm not even going to throw it out of park just to see if it'll go into gear and all that. Because if I try it and one of those blocks let go or something, then I'm not going to be in a good mood. So, And they'll probably be damaged to the car. Who knows? So, um, the Cutlass sits higher. Actually, it'd probably be okay. But this one here sits a little lower. So... Uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it run for a while though, however. Let's see if we can uh, melt some of the snow off here. So, anyway, guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next weekend.